Welcome to Belgium, everybody! This one looks funny. <laughs> MJ is a disaster, guys. <laughs> We have been driving for about 30 minutes already and I think I have not shared to you guys where are we heading, which part of Belgium. So there are four main cities in Belgium, I think, that's mostly very popular. So we have Brussels, which is the capital. Next we have Antwerp, Bruges, and then we have Ghent. So we are heading to Ghent today. And I think we have 1 hour 13 minutes left, right? <laughs> so we have about 5 to 10 minutes to cross the border. And I think there is no border, right? It will just say, welcome to Belgium. Yes, ah, I'm actually very excited. So I did border crossing when I was in Singapore going to Malaysia and that experience was very interesting because you have to give your passport. It was like a drive through thing, but here in Europe, it's a different uh, experience. You'll just have to go through and that's it. You are in a different country. That's so epic. Yeah, that's very exciting. <laughs> so we are gonna be um, trying out different Belgian food. There you go. So we have waffle, Belgian chocolate, and Belgian fries. <laughs> okay, I'm very excited. All right. By the way, this is such a very comfortable drive. I cannot believe how flat Netherlands is. Like, it's very flat. I did not expect that. Also, you can see farms along the way which i did not think they would have as well i thought like europe is just all about buildings and nice architectures and all that i thought they don't have farm <laughs> ah, it's so nice so i'm learning a lot about this country by the way bono was very nice to share me a lot of different fan facts about the country and other countries as well earlier we were talking about you know what happened in um, Germany the Holocaust right <laughs> yeah so he's he's very good in history good job <laughs> thanks for sharing your knowledge I really appreciate it so yeah there could be a possibility that I will be visiting um, that area um, near Germany so you guys will know that pretty soon but anyway you can see different windmills in Netherlands by the way um, Okay, we're almost in the border crossing. Is it? Guys, look at the windmills. Wow. Okay, we're almost in Belgium, guys. Look how nice and high quality the road they have here. It's so wide and well done. Okay, are we there yet? Almost? Probably a minute or so. Okay. <laughs> All right, I want to capture us crossing from Netherlands to Belgium. We're always there. Out. <laughs> Belgium! Woo! Welcome! Welcome to Belgium, everybody! Woohoo! Hello everyone! Welcome to Ghent, Belgium! Ta-da! 
Oh my goodness, the architecture here is amazing. Wow, I'm actually so amazed. This is just like Amsterdam. They also have canal, they also have boat tour, but it's currently 12 p.m. right now, so I'm actually hungry. We're gonna grab lunch, and of course, we're gonna try Belgian food since we are here in Belgium. I just love how beautiful the architecture are in here, guys. Look at this. Wow, so amazing. This is the church, this is where we park. It's a really big one. Look how nice wow <laughs> it's so so pretty wow on the other side they also have these beautiful buildings over here as well look at that guys they have a tram in the middle same as netherlands and it's not as cold today actually it is very sunny i love the sun and yeah, I cannot wait to try <laughs> Belgian food. So I think we're going to try Fleming's too. It's beef, but I know I don't eat beef. We are here in Belgium, so of course we're not going to say no. Maybe this is the time that I will be liking uh, beef. <laughs> wow, I can't believe I'm here. Second country, guys, of our Europe trip. Welcome to Belgium, everyone. Woo! Wow, this is amazing. Okay, all right guys, we're gonna have a lunch. We are here in the main city center of Ghent and now I'm gonna be having, this is Flemish stew. Is that right? Fleming stew? Flemish. <laughs> I'm mixing it up, okay. Flemish stew and it comes with french fries. So I'm gonna try the stew first. So this is apparently beef and it's very tender it's looking very tender and spicy no not spicy i mean hot <sighs> smells beef <laughs> uh, do you think i'll like it <sighs> that's very strong okay let's try bon appetit oh mm. <laughs> mm. It is very tender. The most tender thing ever. I think they put some oyster sauce in it. It's actually okay. I mean, I can smell the beef, that's for sure. And I think you can dip your fries with a sauce with it as well. Yeah? Mm. Mm. Love the fries. <laughs> but the beef? It's okay. I wouldn't choose to eat it, for sure. <laughs> I'm still not into beef. Okay, second dish. Oh, what's this one? This is mashed apple. Oh, this is also a thing here. Oh, apple. Oh, it has cinnamon. Mm. It's okay, it's hot. Mashed apple. Ah, oh, I think this is my first time trying mashed apple. Normally it's mashed potato for me. <laughs> yeah. Pretty good, interesting. Alright, second dish for today's lunch. Let's have ta-da! This is called water zoe. Okay, so it's got potatoes, it's a stew as well, and it's got really big chicken. So let's try. Ooh, look at that. Looks lovely. Let's try the soup first. Mmm. Oh wow, this one I like. Oh, that's very tasty. It's it has a lot of herbs. Very mmm, smells good. Mm. All right, 
Let's try the chicken. Tender. Ooh, it's very hot as well, guys. We have a really nice view, by the way. <laughs> mm. Oh wow, I actually like it. I prefer the water soy than the Flemish too, <laughs> that's for sure. Bon appetit, let's eat everybody. baby potatoes Go crochet avec moi c'est toi Volik vol crochet All right, we just finished with our lunch. It's getting really windy, but I'm still good with the temperature. It's still fine for me. Behind me, you can see a castle. This is my first ever castle in Europe. This is called Gravenstein here in Ghent, Belgium, guys. It's so beautiful. We went inside. There is an entry entrance of 13 euros. So um we did not really go in in <laughs> we just went to the entrance but you can see it from the outside how huge this castle is look at that wow it's so surreal actually when we were inside it makes me think that i'm actually in the movies <laughs> i feel like they use this during um i mean with the what's this the game of thrones it's so beautiful wow this is so crazy like seeing it in person how big it is and how real it is as well <laughs> okay i'm gonna throw on some fun facts about belgium you can actually enter belgium by i mean to uh, four different countries so you can enter uh, by crossing the border in the netherlands in germany in france and luxembourg so we did from the netherlands and now we're here in ghent oh we can walk around the castle wow <laughs> it's so big this really reminds me of game of thrones to be honest ah it also has the water and the back <laughs> wow i want to have a picture of this that's for sure it's so pretty look at that
All right, guys, one thing that you will be surprised here in Belgium is that this really beautiful building is apparently a shopping mall. What? This is a shopping mall, everyone. Can you believe that? That is so beautiful. This looks like a palace or something. Look. Look at this. Oh. Let's finish with our boat cruise around Ghent here in Belgium. It's actually the best way to explore the city. It was like a 45 minute cruise and it was very lovely i was able to meet one filipina she is here as a tourist as well anyway belgium is known for their chocolates so we're gonna try some chocolates we're gonna purchase some chocolates um to bring back home <laughs> uh, they also have a lot of candies by the way that i need to try as well look tana scarlet would be so happy if she's here right now this is her heaven so it's great because uh, they have a variety of chocolates you can choose from they have cacao truffle um i'm not sure hazelnut a corn milk so this one looks funny <laughs> they have apples and yeah it's actually very fun to look at look santa claus leaves monkey and a lot more they also have a lot of cookies over here and waffles, Belgian waffle. We're gonna try that later on. But now, let's get some chocolates. <laughs> Maybe we can choose one of each and try. Hmm. Fondant, look. Fondant, Fraulein, Ferrero. Oh, Ferrero. That's nice, I love Ferrero. Mushroom looking. Oh, this is a lot to choose from actually hey guys we are now in Albert Heijn this is my first ever supermarket in Europe we're gonna check out what do they have here just to room around so first things first for their vegetables they have the steaming that's not a steam that's a that's a steam right but cold <laughs> steaming uh, but it's cold okay so oh look at the paprika but this is capsicum look how huge that is wow and their eggplant looks very different than what we have in philippines <laughs> this is so funny this is so funny the eggplant this is the eggplant in europe <laughs> the one we have in philippines is long and thin or it can be fat as well fat and long but the european ones is short and stout and round and big <laughs> that's so weird everything's big actually i just love that this team is like this it's very cool carrots celery what's this one radish Mm. Wow, <laughs> this is such a cool experience. Oh, they have a lot of apples. All right, let's go around. Wow, this is my happy place. This is me adulting 101. This is my happy place now, supermarket. Oh, they have like a box. Ah, this is like ready to cook kind of thing, yeah? Except of course, yeah. Ah. Oh, so they have something like this, like a pad thai dish, so everything is in there. You can just choose. Or if you want tikka masala, everything is there as well. This is pretty cool. Yeah, you just grab it and everything's there for the ingredients. Like a recipe on the other side. Uh-huh. Wow, that's nice. <laughs> and here, these are like ready to eat. Ready to eat food, right? Yes. Oh, oh, pizza. You just heat it in the oven and it's good. What a lovely view I do have here, guys. Look how beautiful the architecture is. You can definitely sit here in Ghent overlooking this view. Look at that. This is what everyone are doing. And so this is what we're doing. Okay, we have here the chocolate. We're going to try this one out. Unfortunately, the truffle fell. <laughs> because of the wind there's actually a bit of wind okay i'm gonna be careful now so let's try what else do we have here so we have the orange peel and the ferrero and which is the other one cherry, cherry. 
Okay, maybe I'll try to cherry. Can you hold hold on to this so that it doesn't fall again? Thank you. Okay, so this is the cherry. Let's try. There's a full cherry inside. There's a full cherry inside. Ah, <gasps> okay. That's interesting. All right. Well, Belgium is known for their chocolate, so you cannot miss this if you are in Belgium. All right. Bon appetit. Let's try. I think the stick is real. Oh, the stick is real. <laughs> I was just gonna bite the entire thing. How do I eat it then? The oh, it's real. You hope Fudge. You bite it oh, okay. Mmm. 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 Oh my god. You're okay. You're okay. It's a disaster. It's on my pants. And I'm wearing white. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I will have to put everything in my mouth. Mmm. Mmm. Mm, it's a good idea. <laughs> Thank you. Not a good idea to wear white pants, guys. To eat chocolate. Mmm. There's a seed. It's real. It's a mess. Oh my gosh, it's in my hair. Oh no, it's really a mess. <laughs> Jay is a disaster, guys. <laughs> I'm gonna have to do some laundry tonight. Look at the situation. Ta-da, and here, and there. Anyway, it is what it is. We're in Belgium, we can't complain. Ta-da, all right, next chocolate. This is peel orange. Mmm. Yeah, I can taste the orange. Very strong as well. They just like coated the orange with chocolate. It's fun. Hmm. I've never tried something like this before. Hmm. This one's actually good. By the way, the cherry earlier was very strong. It was a bit bitter. It's already bitter because it <laughs> made a mess on me, but the taste was bad, bitter. Mm. Mm. Who would have thought MJ from the countryside is enjoying Belgian chocolate in Belgium? <laughs> this is a life. Dreams do come true if you work for it. Alright, people. We're going to start our drive back to the netherlands that was such a lovely day trip here in ghent belgium and i don't think i have shared this to everyone that there are three uh, classification of people here in belgium by the way so we have the flemish these are the dutch people we have wallonian these are the french people and then we have the german so uh, in connection to that, they also speak three languages here. So Dutch, German, and French. Pretty interesting. <laughs> and also, I have learned it in our cruise earlier that Belgium was also being colonized by Spain. <laughs> and also Netherlands, by the way. So yeah, it's not only Philippines that was being colonized by the Spaniards. I'm actually quite excited to go to Spain. I'm definitely going to Barcelona because they're the one who gave me my Schengen visa. I cannot miss that, that's for sure. So you guys will see me try my, you know, Spanish skills <laughs> since it's quite uh, similar to Visaya and Tagalog. All right, we're gonna go back now to the car and head back to Breda in Holland. Let's go. Thank you. 